Let's thank him because he's high and exalted and there's none compared to him. Let's thank the Lord because he's a good God. He is a wonderful father. He is merciful. He is kind. He is just. He is holy. He is our deliverer. He is our restorer. Let's thank the Lord because he's worthy to be praised. Let's thank him because he's great. He's great. He's excellent. He's powerful. He's high and exalted and there's none compared to him. Let's thank the Lord because he's a merciful father. Let's thank the Lord because he's the I am that I am. Let's thank him because he's worthy to be praised in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory because you are mighty. We give you all the praise because you are excellent in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your name because you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lord. Lord, we come before you and we say thank you, God, because you are faithful. Lord, you never fail. You will never leave us nor forsake us in the name of Jesus. We give you praise because you are our master and defender. We give you all the glory because you are worthy to be praised in the name of Jesus. Righteous God, we come before your presence and we say thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for fighting our battles, O God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for lifting us up, O God, when we fall, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this wonderful morning, O God. This is the day, God, that you have made. And Father, we shall rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God, that in blessing you will bless us and in multiplying you will multiply us in the name of Jesus. Most high God, we praise your name as we say, great is our God and greatly to be praised in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for you are our source. Thank you for you are our provider. Thank you for you are our protector. Thank you. For you are the bright, mighty man in battle, the bright morning star. We praise your name, almighty God, because you are worthy to be praised. In the name of Jesus, Father, we come before you and we say thank you for you are our hope, our source, our provider, our protector, our shield, the glory and the lifter of our heads. We praise your name, almighty God. We praise your name, El Shaddai. We praise your name, great and mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. We worship you, almighty God. We worship you, King of kings. We worship you, great and mighty God. We come before your presence to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for being our source and protector. Lord, receive our prayers in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, receive our worship as we come before your presence, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we praise your name, O oh God. We give you all the glory, Jesus. We give you all the honor. Father, receive our prayers in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, receive our worship as we come before your presence today, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen so god bless you everyone and welcome to this morning's prayer champions intercession and today we are going to look at the four laws of blessings we're going to look at the four laws of blessings for those that are here for the first time i just want to remind you and for those that are returning that every time we meet we read the bible to the glory of god we're in the book of leviticus we're actually in the book of leviticus chapter 26 we're at chapter 26 of Leviticus. So we're going to look at that. We're going to read Leviticus chapter 26 and um, Leviticus chapter 27. I'm using the Living Bible. I'm using the Living Bible. You can use whatever version of the Bible you have access to. And um, also, um, for those that are here, um, just please take the moment to like the video, share it with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and also hit the notification bell. So once we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. Amen. All right. So let's um, just get started with reading Leviticus chapter 26 and 27. Let's do it. You must have no idols 
you must never worship carved image, obelisk, or shaped stones, for I am the Lord your God. You must obey my Sabbath laws of rest and reverence my, son, my, and reverence my tabernacle, for I am the Lord. If you obey all my commandments, I will give you regular rains, and the land will yield bumper crops, and the trees will be loaded with fruit long after the normal time, and grapes will still be ripening when, when sowing time comes again. You shall eat your fill and live safely in the land, for I will give you peace, and you will go to sleep without fear. I will chase away the dangerous animals. You will chase your enemies. They will die beneath your swords. Five of, your, five of you will chase a hundred, and a hundred of you, 10,000. You will defeat all your enemies. I will look after you and multiply you and fulfill my covenant with you. You will have such a surplus of crops that you won't know what to do with them when the new harvest is ready. And I will live among you and not despise you. I will walk among you and be your God, and you shall be my people. For I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, so that you will be slaves no longer. I have broken your chains so that you can walk with dignity. But if you will not listen to me or obey me or reject my laws, this is what I will do to you. I will punish you with sudden terrors and panic and with tuberculosis and burning fever. Your eyes shall be consumed and your life shall ebb away. You will sow your crops in vain for your enemies will eat them. I will set my face against you and you will flee before your attackers. Those who hate you will rule you you will never run when you, no one is chasing you. Those who hate you will rule you. You will even run when no one is chasing you. And if you still disobey me, I will punish you seven times more severely for your sins. I will break your proud power and make your heavens as iron and your earth as bronze. Your strength shall be spent in vain and for your land shall not yield its crops nor your trees their fruit. Even then, you will not obey me and listen to me. I will send you seven times more plagues because of your sins. I will send wild animals to kill your children and destroy your sins. I will send wild animals to kill your children and destroy your cattle and reduce your numbers so that your roads will be deserted. And even if this will not reform you, but you continue to walk against my wishes, then I will walk against your wishes, and I, even I, will, person will personally smite you seven times for your sin. I will revenge the breaking of my covenant by bringing war against you. You will flee to your cities, and I will send a plague among you there, and you will be conquered by your enemies. I will destroy your food supply so that even so that one one of them will be large will, will be a, will be enough to bake all the bread available for 10 entire families and you still and you will still be hungry after your pittance has been ruled out to you and if you still won't listen to me or obey me then i will let loose my great anger and send you seven times greater punishment for, you, for your sins, you shall eat your own sons and daughters, and I will destroy the altars on the hills where you worship your idols, and I will cut down your in incense altars, leaving your dead bodies to rot among your idols, and I will abhor you. I will make your cities desolate and destroy your places of worship, and I will not respond to your incense offerings. Yes, I will desolate your lands. Your enemies shall live in it, utterly amazed at what I have done to you. I will scatter you among the nations, destroying you with wars as you go. Your land shall be desolate as your cities destroyed. Then at last, 
the land will rest and make up for the many years you refuse to let it lie idle, for it will die desolate all the years that you are kept that you are captives in enemies' lands. Yes, then the land will rest and enjoy its Sabbaths. It will make up for the rest you didn't give it every 70 year when you live upon it. And for those who are left alive, I will cause them to be dragged away to distant lands as prisoners of war and slaves. They will live in constant fear. The sound of a leaf driven in the wind will send them feel it fleeing as though chased by a man with a sword. They shall fall when no one is pursuing them. Yes, though none pursue, they shall stumble over each other in flight as though fleeing in battle with no one with no power to stand before their enemies. You shall perish among the nations and be destroyed among your enemies. Those left shall pine away in enemies' land because of their sins, the same sin as those of their fathers. But at last, they shall confess their sins and their fathers' sins of treachery against me because they were against me. I was against them and brought them into the land of their enemies, when at last their evil hearts are humbled and they accept the punishment I send them for their sins. And I will remember again my promises to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I will remember the land and its desolation, for the land shall enjoy its Sabbath and as it lies desolate. But then at last they shall accept their punishment for rejecting my laws and for despising my rule. But despite all they have done, I will not utterly destroy them and my covenant with them. For I am Jehovah, their God. For their sakes, I will remember my promises to their ancestors to be their God. For I brought their forefathers out of Egypt as all the other nations watch in wonder. I am, Je I am Jehovah. These were the laws, ordinances, and instructions that Jehovah gave to the people of Israel through Moses on Mount Sinai. Amen. Let's um, turn over to Leviticus chapter 27. Leviticus chapter 27. Please take the moment to like the video, share with your friends, your family, and loved ones, and subscribe to the channel. All right. Leviticus chapter 7. 27. Sorry. Leviticus chapter 27. The Lord said to Moses, tell the people of Israel that when a person makes a special vow to give himself to the Lord, he shall give these payment instead. A man from the age of 26, from 20 to, six, to, 20 to 60 shall pay $25. A woman from the age of 20 to 60 shall pay $15. A boy from 5 to 20 shall pay $10. A girl, $5. A boy one month to five years old shall have paid him for him two and a half dollars. A girl, one and a half dollar. A man over 60 shall pay seven and a half dollars. A woman, five dollars. But if the person is too poor to pay this amount, he shall be brought to the priest and the priest shall talk it over with him and he shall pay as the priest shall decide. But if an animal that is involved, that's, sorry, but if an animal that is vowed to be given to the Lord as a sacrifice, it must be given. The vow may not be charged. The donor may neither change his mind about giving it to the Lord, nor substitute good for bad or bad for good. If he does both, the first and the second shall belong to the Lord. But if the animal given to the Lord is not a kind that is permitted as a sacrifice, the owner shall bring it to the priest to value it, and he shall be told how much to pay instead. If the animal is a kind that may be offered as a sacrifice, but the man wants to redeem it, then he shall pay 20 cents more than the value set by the priest. If someone donates his home to the land, if someone donates his home to the Lord, and then wishes to redeem it, the priest will decide its value and the man shall pay that amount plus 20% and the house will be his again. If a man dedicates any part of his field to the Lord, value it in proportion to its size 
as indicated by the amount of seed required to sow it. A section of the land that requires 10 bushels of barley seeds for sowing is valued at $25. If a man dedicates his field in the year of Jubilee, then the whole estimate shall stand. But if it is after the year of Jubilee, then the value shall be in proportion to the number of years remaining until the next year of Jubilee. If the man decides to redeem the field, he shall pay 20% in addition to the priest's valuation, and the field will be in be his again. But if he does, but if he decide not to redeem the field, or if he has sold the field to someone else and has given to the Lord his right to it at the year of Jubilee, it shall not be returned to him again. When it is freed in the year of Jubilee, it shall belong to the Lord as a field devoted to him. It shall be given to the priest. If a man dedicates to the Lord a field he has brought, but which is not part of his family possession, the priest shall estimate the value until the year of Jubilee, and he shall immediately give that estimated value to the Lord. And in the year of Jubilee, the field shall return to the original owner from, with, from whom it was brought. All the valuation shall be stated in the standard, in standard money. You may not de dedicate to the Lord the firstborn of any ox or sheep, for it is already his. But if it is the firstborn of an animal that cannot be sacrificed because it is not on the list of those acceptable to the Lord, then the owner shall pay the priest's estimate of its worth, plus 20%, or if the owner does not redeem it. The priest may sell it to, the, to someone else. However, anything utterly devoted to the Lord, people, animals, or inherited field shall not be sold or redeemed, for they are most holy to the Lord. No one sentenced by the court to die may pay a fine instead. He shall surely be put to death. A tenth of the produce of the land where the grain or fruit is the Lord's and is holy. If anyone wants to buy back his, this fruit or grain, he must add a fifth to its value. And the Lord owns every tenth animal of your herds and flock and other domestic animals as they pass by for counting. The tenth given to the Lord shall not be selected on the basis of whether it is good or bad, and there shall be no substitution. For if there's, for if there is any change made, then both the original and the substitution shall be belong to the Lord and may not be brought back. These are the commandments the Lord gave to Moses for the people of Israel on Mount Sinai. Amen. Let's just take this moment and begin to ask the Lord for mercy. Let's talk to him. Father, you are great and you are greatly to be praised. We come before you right now. And Lord, we ask you for mercy in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, in any way that we have sinned against you, we come before you, Lord, and we ask you for mercy. In any way that we have offended you today, today God, we surrender at your feet and we ask you for mercy. Father, have mercy upon us, O God, according to your riches in glory. O Lord, blot out our sins. Wash us thoroughly from all sins and iniquities. Cleanse us, O God, from all unrighteousness. My Lord and my God, create in us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in us. Lord, by your mercy, do not cast us away from your presence. Lord, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. O God, by your mercy, restore to us the joy of your salvation and renew a right spirit in me. My Lord and my God, let your mercy speak in my life. Father, let your mercy prevail, O oh God, over all that concerns me. Lord, if there's any sinful way in me, any way that doesn't pleases me, O oh God, any way that doesn't pleases you, O oh God, that is inside of me, I surrender, Lord, and I ask you for mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, by your mercy, deliver me from besetting sin. By your mercy, deliver me from the powers of darkness. By your mercy, Lord, I pray that you redeem me, O oh God. Take control of my heart, my mind, my thoughts, O oh God. Let your freedom speak in all areas of my life in the name of Jesus. By your mercy, O oh God, I hand over my battles to you in the name of Jesus. By your mercy, O oh God, let your power manifest in my life. 
in the name of Jesus, great and mighty God, I come before your presence and I ask you for mercy in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy prevail. Father, let your mercy reign and rule in my life, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I cry out to you, my Father, my God, and I ask you for mercy today, Lord. Deliver me from the hand of darkness. Deliver me from the power of the wicked. Set me free from every wage of sin in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for you are a faithful God. Thank you, O oh God, for you are glorious. You are mighty. You are excellent. We give you praise, almighty God, because you are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory because you are excellent, wonderful, Father. Thank you, Father, for fighting for us, O oh God. Lord, let your mercy speak. Lord, let your mercy prevail. Take all the glory, the honor, and the praise. We worship you, almighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so this morning, as we said, we are talking about the four laws of God's blessing. So the four laws of God's blessing. So that's our topic today, the four laws of God's blessings. Amen? So that's our topic. So, you know, we read in Genesis chapter 12, verse 2. Let's turn to our Bible to Genesis chapter 12, verse 2. Genesis chapter 12. Verse 2, looking at the four laws of God's blessing. So Genesis, Genesis is the first book of the Bible. Genesis chapter 12, verse 2. Okay, so in Genesis chapter 12, verse 2, the Amplified Version, it says, And I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you with abundant increase of favor, and make your name famous and distinguished, and you will be a blessing which means you're dispensing good to others. Amen? So I will bless you and I will be a blessing. That's what Genesis 12 verse 2 says. So most Christians want to bless others through their gifts, as we said, and their resources, but it's not just a desire. God's command, God commands you to be a blessing to others because you have been blessed. Amen? And so as you look for ways to bless others, I want you to keep in mind the four laws of God's blessings. Amen? So we're going to talk about the four laws of God's blessing, and we are going to pray. So your blessing, this is the first law. Your blessing should not, I mean, your blessing should flow to others. That's the first law. Your blessing should flow to others. So I'll give you the four laws first. Your blessing should flow to others. The second one is, when you bless others, God take care of your needs. The third one is you, your blessings to others will come back to you. And the fourth one, the more God blesses you, the more he expects you to help others. Amen? So let's do it over now. So the first law of God blessing is your blessing should flow to others. That's the first law. So the Bible teaches that you are blessed, not just so that you can feel good or so that you can be happy and comfortable. You are blessed so that you will bless others. And as we see in Genesis 12, verse 2, God told Abraham that I will bless you and you will be a blessing. Amen? So the first law of blessing, it must flow outwardly. Amen? Then the second law of God's blessing. When you bless others, God take care of your need. When you bless others, God takes care of your needs. So there's almost nothing that God won't do for the person who really wants to help other people. So in fact, God guarantees that if you will concentrate on blessing others, he will take care of your needs. Amen? So Luke chapter 18, 29 to 13, Jesus says, I assure you that everyone who has given up house or wife or brothers or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God will be repaid many times over in this life and I, and will have eternal life in the world to come. Amen. So that's Luke 18, 29 to 30. Okay. So when you are, or when you care about helping other people, God assumes responsibility for your problems. And that's a real blessing because he's much better at handling your difficulties than you are. Amen. 
So the third law of blessing is your blessing to others will come back to you. So your blessing to others will come back to you. So the more you bless other people and the more you help others, the more God blesses your life. Amen. So Luke chapter 638, Luke chapter 638. Let's turn there and look at it. Luke chapter 638. You know, Luke is in the New Testament at to Mark, Luke, and John. So Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Luke chapter 6, 38. It says, give and gifts will be given to you. Good measure pressed down, shaken together and running over. Will they pour into the pouch formed by the bosom of your robe and use as a bag? For with the same measure you deal out, with, this, with the measure you use to confer your benefit on others, it will, measure, it will be measured back to you. So that's the amplified version. It says, um, give, you know, and in another version, give away your life. You find life giving back to you, but not, not, but not merely giving back, giving back with bonus and blessings. Amen. So you cannot out give God. The more you try to bless other people, the more God says, I'm going to pour out my blessings on you. Amen. So we'll play a little you know, situation here. And um, when it comes on to your giving, if you started to give, you know, whether it be in the church, whether it be in the ministry, or helping other people, you will see as you play along how things start to flow. You know, just just try it. Just try it and see. Do it without expecting nothing back in return and see how God will bless you. Amen. So the more you bless others, the more you know, God is going to bless you in return. Amen. So the fourth law of God's blessing, fourth law of God's blessing is the more God blesses you, the more he expects you to help others. The more God blesses you, the more he expects you to help others. So if you look at Luke chapter 12, 48, Luke chapter 12, 48, we're in the book of Luke already. So let's turn over to 12, 48. Luke chapter 12, 48. But he who did not know and did things worthy of a beating shall be beaten with few, you know, lashes. For everyone whom which is much is given of him shall much be required. And of him to whom men entrust much, they will require and demand all the more. Amen. So much is required from the person to whom much is given and much more is required from the person to whom much is much more is given. So never be afraid to share God's blessing. The more generous, generous you are with sharing what God's given you, the more you see God blessing you in return. Amen. All right. So um, just to summarize, I want you to think about some of the blessing God has given you and which ones have you shared with others? Which one have you shared with your church? Which one have you shared with the people that are blessing you, who are speaking over your life, praying for you, your families? Think about it. And so based on how much God has blessed you, how much do you think he expects you to bless others? Think about that really good in your heart. And um, the last question I want to ask you to think about is, what will you do to bless someone today? What are you going to do to bless someone today? So you don't have to earn God's love or, or work your way into heaven. You know, the Bible clearly said it in Ephesians 2, 8 to 9. It is by grace that you have been saved through faith. And this is not from ourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Amen. So if you are ready, you know, you know, to commit to a life of giving, I want you to go before the Lord. And ask him for mercy. The times that he has blessed you abundantly or in any measure, and you even refuse to even acknowledge him by giving him the tent of what he expects for you in, from you in times. From even blessing those that are around you that is in need, whether it be a family, whether it be a neighbor, it could be anyone. Just talk to the Lord right now. We're going to ask him for forgiveness, and then we're going to get into the prayers. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Father, you said in blessings, you will bless us, and in multiplying, you will multiply us. Father, I ask you for forgiveness. Lord, I believe, Lord God, when you bless me, Lord, you expect that I will be a blessing to others. And so, Lord, we have spoken about the laws of your blessings, O oh God. And Father, from today, we make a vow to apply it in every ear of our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, by your mercy, remove every selfishness from us. By your mercy, set us free from the power of darkness in the name of Jesus. By your mercy, deliver us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will guide us and help us, O oh God. And Lord, as we trust you, O oh God, because you are our Savior and Redeemer, we ask that your mercy speak, your mercy prevail in every era concerning us. Father, thank you for you are a mighty God. Thank you because you are worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so we are going to pray now, and we are going to trust God that as he bless us in so many areas, he will continue to bless us in every aspect of our lives. Amen? So let's just talk to the Lord loud and clear to the glory of his name. Oh God, arise and open the heavens over my life today. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and open the heavens over my life today. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and open the heavens over my life today. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and open the heavens over my life today. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and open the heavens over my life today. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and open the heavens over my life today. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and open the heavens over my life today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My Father, arise in your power and bless me beyond my expectations. In the name of Jesus, my Father, arise in your power and bless me beyond my expectation. In the name of Jesus, my Father, arise in your power and bless me beyond my expectation. In the name of Jesus, my Father, arise in your power and bless me beyond my expectation. In the name of Jesus, my Father, arise in your power and bless me beyond my expectation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, arise by your mercy, oh God, and deliver me from selfishness. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise in your mercy, oh God, and deliver me from selfishness. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise in your mercy, oh God, and deliver me from selfishness. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise in your mercy, oh God, and deliver me from selfishness. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. In your mercy, O oh God, and deliver me from selfishness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I command this day to favor me. In the name of Jesus, I command this day to favor me. In the name of Jesus, I command this day to favor me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My Father, arise in your power and open the womb of this week for me. In the name of Jesus, my Father, arise in your power and open the womb of this week for me. In the name of Jesus, my Father, arise in your power, Lord, and open the womb of this week for me. In Jesus' name we pray. And I forbid the enemy from manipulating my names for attacks in the dreams. In the name of Jesus, I forbid the enemy from manipulating my names for attacking the dream. 
In the name of Jesus, I forbid my enemies from manipulating my names, for attacking the dreams. In the name of Jesus, I forbid the enemy from manipulating my names, for attacking the dreams. In the name of Jesus, I forbid the enemy from manipulating my names, for attacking the dreams. In Jesus' name we pray. And I reject and command for total destruction. Any personality using my names in the dream for evil agenda. In the name of Jesus, I reject and command for total destruction. Any personality using my names in the dreams for evil agenda. In the name of Jesus, I reject and command for total destruction. Any personality using my names in the dreams for total uh, for total for any evil agenda in the name of Jesus, I reject and command for total destruction. Any personality using my names in the dream for evil agenda in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I reject and command for total destruction. Any personality using my names in the dreams. For evil agenda, in the name of Jesus, I reject and command for total destruction. Any personality using my names in the dreams for evil agenda, in the name of Jesus, I reject and command for total destruction. Any personality using my names in the dream for evil agenda, in the name of Jesus, I reject and command for total destruction. Any personality using my names in the dream for evil agenda. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By the power of Jehovah Sabot, the Lord of war, I reject any evil food introduced to me in the dreams. In the name of Jesus, by the power of Jehovah Sabot. The Lord of war, I reject any evil food introduced to me in the dreams. In the name of Jesus, by the power of Jehovah Sabot, the Lord of war, I reject any evil food introduced to me in the dream. In the name of Jesus, by the power of Jehovah Sabot, the Lord of war, I reject any evil food given to me in the dreams in the name of jesus by the power of jehovah sabot the lord of war i reject any evil food introduced to me in the dreams in jesus name we pray amen thou great physician heal every injury and wounds on my family tree in the name of jesus Thou great physician, heal every injury and wounds on my family tree. In the name of Jesus, thou great physician, heal every injury and wounds on my family tree. In the name of Jesus, thou great physician, heal every injury and wounds on my family tree. In the name of Jesus, thou great physician, heal every injury and wounds on my family tree in the name of jesus thou great physician heal every injury and wounds on my family tree in the name of jesus thou great physician heal every injury and wounds on my family tree in jesus name we pray amen every information toward in the cauldron against my family Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every information stored in the cauldron against my family. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every information stored in the cauldron against my family. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every information stored in the cauldron against my family. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every information Stored in the cauldron against my family. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every information stored in the cauldron against my family. 
catch fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All information toward in the memory bank of the enemy against my family tree. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, all information stored in the memory bank of the enemy against my family tree. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, all information stored in the memory bank of the enemy against my family tree. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All information stored in the memory bank of the enemy against my family tree be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, all information stored in the memory bank of the enemy against my family tree be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, all information stored in the memory bank of the enemy against my family tree be wiped off by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus all information stored in the memory bank of the enemy against my family tree be wiped off by the blood of Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen angels of fire locate my family roots and uproot all arrows of wickedness in the name of Jesus, angels of fire, locate my family root and uproot all arrows of wickedness. In the name of Jesus, angels of fire, locate my family root and uproot all arrows of wickedness. In the name of Jesus, angels of fire, locate my family root and uproot all arrows of wickedness. In the name of Jesus, Angels of fire, locate my family roots and uproot our arrows of wickedness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Holy Ghost fire, purge my roots of breakthroughs, repositioning. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, purge my root for breakthrough repositioning. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, Purge my root for breakthrough repositioning. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Purge my root for breakthrough repositioning. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Purge my root for breakthrough repositioning. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Purge my root for breakthrough repositioning. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Purge my root. For breakthrough repositioning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Inherited weaknesses. Clear away by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Inherited weaknesses. Clear away by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Inherited weaknesses. Clear away by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Inherited weaknesses, clear away by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, inherited weaknesses, clear away by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, inherited weaknesses, clear away by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, inherited weaknesses, clear away by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, inherited weaknesses, clear away by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, inherited weaknesses, clear away by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, inherited weaknesses, clear away by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, inherited weaknesses, clear away by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yokes hanging on my family tree. Break. In the name of Jesus. Yokes hanging on my family tree. Break. In the name of Jesus. Yokes hanging on my family tree. Break. In the name of Jesus. Yokes hanging on my family tree. Break. In the name of Jesus, yokes hanging on my family tree. Break. 
in the name of Jesus, yokes hanging on my family tree, break. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Coven cages, tracking down the stars of my family. Break and backfire. In the name of Jesus, coven cages, tracking down the star of my family. Break and backfire. In the name of Jesus, coven cages, tracking down the stars of my family. Break and backfire. In the name of Jesus, coven cages, tracking down the stars of my family. Break and backfire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thou great physician, heal every disease on my family tree. In the name of Jesus, thou great physician, heal every disease on my family tree. In the name of Jesus, thou great physician, heal every disease on my family tree. In the name of Jesus, thou great physician, heal every disease on my family tree. In the name of Jesus, thou great physician, Heal every disease on my family tree. In the name of Jesus, thou great physician. Heal every disease on my family tree. In the name of Jesus, thou great physician. Heal every disease on my family tree. In Jesus' name we pray. And blood of Jesus, wash and purge my family tree. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, Wash and purge my family tree. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Wash and purge my family tree. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Wash and purge my family tree. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Wash and purge my family tree. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Wash and purge my family tree. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Wash and purge my family tree. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Wash and purge my family tree. In Jesus' name we pray. And swallow us and empty us. Loose your hold upon my family tree. In the name of Jesus, swallow us and empty us. Loose your hold upon my family tree. In the name of Jesus, swallow us and empty us. Loose your hold upon my family tree. In the name of Jesus, swallow us and empty us. Loose your hold upon my family tree. In the name of Jesus, swallow us and empty us. Loose your hold upon my family tree. In the name of Jesus, swallow us and empty us. Loose your hold upon my family trees. In Jesus' name we pray. Man. Opportunity wasters. Target in my family tree. Be shaken off by the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, opportunity wasters. Targeting my family tree, be shaken off by the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, opportunity wasters. Targeting my family tree, be shaken off by the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, opportunity wasters. Targeting my family tree, be shaken off by the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, opportunity wasters. Targeting my family tree, be shaken off by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And curses, trouble in my family tree, be broken. In the name of Jesus. Curses, trouble in my family tree, be broken. In the name of Jesus, curses, trouble in my family tree, be broken. In the name of Jesus, curses, trouble in my family tree, be broken. In the name of Jesus, curses, trouble in my family tree, be broken. In the name of Jesus, curses, trouble in my family tree, be broken. In the name of Jesus, Curses, trouble in my family tree, be broken. In the name of Jesus, curses, trouble in my family tree, be broken. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord Jesus, 
walk back to my day and place of birth and fix everything that needs fixing. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, walk back to my day and place of birth and fix everything that needs fixing. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, walk back to my day and my place of birth and fix everything that needs fixing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the power, trading with my virtues. Let's put it like this. In the power, trading with the virtues of my family tree. Release them now in the name of Jesus. In the power, trading with the virtues of my family tree. Release them now in the name of Jesus. In the power, trading with the virtues of my family tree. Release them now in the name of Jesus. In the power, trading with the virtues of my family tree. Release them now in the name of Jesus. In the power, trading with the virtues of my family tree. Release them now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Star hunters and observers of times. Targeting my family star. Receive blindness in the name of Jesus. Star hunters, an observer of times, targeting my family star, receive blindness in the name of Jesus. Star hunters, and observers of time, targeting my family star, receive blindness in the name of Jesus. Star hunters, and observers of time, targeting my family star, receive blindness in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Backwardness and failure of my father's house and of my mother's house be eliminated in the name of Jesus. Backwardness and failure of my father's house and of my mother's house be eliminated in the name of Jesus. Backwardness and failure of my father's house and of my mother's house be eliminated in the name of Jesus. Backwardness and failure of my father's house and of my mother's house be eliminated in the name of Jesus. Backwardness and failure of my father's house and of my mother's house be eliminated in the name of Jesus. Backwardness and, fa and failure of my father's house and of my mother's house be eliminated in the name of Jesus. Backwardness and failure of my father's house and of my mother's house be eliminated in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The horns assigned to torment my lineage and demote them. Die in the name of Jesus. The horns assigned to torment my lineage and eliminate them. Die in the name of Jesus. The horns assigned to torment my lineage and eliminate them. Die in the name of Jesus. The horns assigned to torment my lineage and demote them. Die in the name of Jesus. The horns assigned to eliminate to torment my lineage and demote them. Die in the name of Jesus. The horns assigned to torment my lineage and demote them. Die in the name of Jesus. The horns are signed to torment my lineage and demote them. Die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every root that bearing gall and wormwood in my family tree be washed by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every root bearing gall and wormwood in my family tree, be washed by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every root bearing gall and wormwood in my family tree, be washed by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every root bearing gall and wormwood in my family tree, be washed by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Every root that bearing gall and wormwood in my family tree be washed by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thou pursuing arrows 
tormenting my family. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Thou pursuing arrows, tormenting my family. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Thou pursuing arrows, tormenting my family. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Thou pursuing arrows, tormenting my family. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Thou pursuing arrows, tormenting my family. Backfire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Power of Leviathan and the sea. Release my family. In the name of Jesus. Power of Leviathan and the sea. Release my family. In the name of Jesus. Power of Leviathan and the sea. Release my family. In the name of Jesus. Power of Leviathan and the sea. Release my family. In the name of Jesus, power of Leviathan and the sea, release my family. In the name of Jesus, power of Leviathan and the sea, release my family. In the name of Jesus, power of Leviathan and the sea, release my family. In the name of Jesus, power of Leviathan and the sea, release my family. In the name of Jesus, power of Leviathan and the sea, Release my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Virtues. Buried with any dead relatives. That is affecting my progress. Resurfaced by fire. In the name of Jesus. Virtues. Buried with any dead relatives. That is affecting my progress. Resurfaced by fire. In the name of Jesus. Virtues buried with any dead relatives that is affecting my progress. Resurfaced by fire in the name of Jesus. Virtues buried with any dead relatives that is affecting my progress. Resurfaced by fire in the name of Jesus. Virtues buried with any dead relatives that is affecting my progress. Resurfaced by fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My father, use me to change my family history. In the name of Jesus, my father, use me to change my family history for good. In the name of Jesus, my father, use me to change my family history for good. In the name of Jesus, my father, use me to change my family history for good. In the name of Jesus, my father, use me to change my family history for good. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my father, use me to change my family history for good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God of Elijah, send down your purging fire and sanitize my family tree. In the name of Jesus, God of Elijah, send down your purging fire and sanitize my family tree. In the name of Jesus, God of Elijah, send down your purging fire and sanitize my family tree. In the name of Jesus, God of Elijah, Send down your purging fire and sanitize my family tree. In the name of Jesus, God of Elijah, send down your purging fire and sanitize my family tree. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, arise with your power and bless me with showers of blessings today. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise in your power, Lord, and bless me with showers of blessings today. In the name of Jesus, my Father, arise in your power, O oh Lord, and bless me with showers of blessings today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My Father, let my blessing flow to others. In the name of Jesus, my Father, let my blessings flow to others in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let my blessing flow to others in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, oh Lord, as I bless others, 
take care of my needs. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, as I bless others, take care of my needs. In the name of Jesus, my Father, as I bless others, take care of my needs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, my Father, help me as I bless, oh God, that my blessings will come back to me and my generation. In the name of Jesus, oh God, help me so when I bless others, my blessings will come back to me and my generation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, as you bless me, help me to know and understand what you expect from me. In the name of Jesus, my Father, as you bless me, help me to know and understand what you expect from me. In the name of Jesus, oh God, as you bless me, help me to know and understand what you expect from me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So let's just um, take the moment and just recap our blessings. So the four laws of God's blessing. So the four laws of God's blessing is your blessing should flow to others. When you bless others, God take care of your needs. Your blessings to others will come back to you. And the more God blesses you, the more he expects you to help others. So those are the four laws of God's blessings. Amen. So why don't we talk to the Lord and begin to thank him for, you know, the ability to be it a child of God so that we can benefit from these laws of blessing. Let's thank him for this wonderful morning. Let's thank him for this wonderful day. Let's thank him because he's a merciful God. He is the I am that I am, the ancient of days. Let's thank the Lord because he's worthy to be praised. He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Father, we praise your name as we say, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. We magnify your name because you're worthy to be praised in the name of Jesus. Righteous, redeeming God, we come before your presence to say thank you. Thank you, O oh God, for in blessing you will bless us and in multiplying you will multiply us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, bless us, O oh God. Let it overflow, shaking together and running over in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, as you bless us, O oh God, help us to be a blessing to others. Help us to be a blessing to the church. Help us to be a blessing to those that are around us in the name of Jesus. Bless us, O oh God, so we can extend our hands to be a giver, O oh God, unto many nations in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we come before your presence and we say as we go out in this week, Father, as we have risen, risen before the sun, Father, Lord, let the sun, not, the sun will not strike us by day nor the moon by night. And Lord, as we have risen before the sun, Lord, everything we set out to do, we shall be favored in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for your mercy speaks in every ear of my life. Thank you, O oh God, that Lord, mighty Father, that as we have commanded the morning, all the blessings of you, O oh God, will manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for being a great God. Thank you for being a wonderful master. We give you praise for all that you have done. We give you all the glory because you are worthy to be praised. Father, receive our prayers in the name of Jesus. Receive our worship as we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for making us a channel of blessing. Take all the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. So um, this is it for our prayers um, for this morning. Um, so just remember the four laws of God's blessing and know that God wants you to be a blessing to others. And so with that said, I want to encourage you to take this moment to like the video, share it with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and also hit the notification bell. So once we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. Also, you can feel free to go to our ministry website, www.ogodariseministries.com. And right there, all the ways that you can be a blessing to the ministry is there. So please take that moment to be a blessing so that that blessing will flow back to you. Amen. All right. So our confession is um, in the book of Luke this morning. Our confession is Luke chapter 6, 27 to 
36. That's our confession for this week. Luke chapter 6, 27 to 36. I'm using the New King James Version for this. So it says, but I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who spitefully use you. To him who strikes you on the one cheek, offer the other also. Also from him who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from him who takes away your goods, do not ask them back. And just as you want men to do to you, you also do to them likewise. But if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if and if you do not, and if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive back, what credit is that to you? For even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much back. But love your enemies, do good and lend, hoping for nothing in return, and your reward will be great. And you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the unthankful and evil. Therefore, be merciful, just as your father also is merciful. Amen. So that's our confession for this week. Luke chapter 20, Luke chapter 6, 27 to 36. Let's just thank the Lord. Father, we just want to thank you for you have heard us today. We thank you for blessing us. We thank you, oh God, that as we go out this week, you will be a blessing to us. And Lord, we will be a blessing to others in the name of Jesus. Father, every prayer that we have prayed today, we soak them in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for being our shield and our, and our protector. Thank you for being our source and our provider, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay, so that's it for this morning. God bless you. I trust that you will be a blessing to someone today. And um, have a